please let the governor go before me. <laughs> Good evening, my name is Donna Woods, W-O-O-D-S, and I live in Pasco. I'm grateful for my three minutes before you tonight. I stood before you just about 801,883 minutes ago. It has been one year, six months, and nine days. And at that time, I was overwhelmed with helplessness and doubt. But now, all this time later, I am filled with hope. This time, I am backed with facts. And this time, I am before you knowing that you take seriously the charge of holding our local world in your hands. And although, if I hear the phrase, trust the process, one more time, I will literally burst. I do indeed trust you three on the board. Now, respectfully, I will use my time on a couple of facts that weigh heavily on my heart. I am strongly opposed to the licensing of this plant. First, because it's not needed. And second, is it because it will, without any doubt, cause unacceptable harm to the environment of the state. These facts are clearly shown throughout the testimony and advisory opinions already filed with the board. In Benergy, claims that the computer model air emissions from the facility are below federal air quality standards and no adverse health impacts will result. Well, common sense tells us differently. In his testimony, Mr. Eric Eppner not only contradicts this, he goes into great detail as to why hundreds of thousands of pounds of air pollutants will be annually emitted from this facility, and the, on the, and the pollution pardon me, and the air embargo will increase cancer risks, of course very dear to my heart as a survivor, and respiratory health issues, even if CREC operates within the air quality limits. Think about that. There will also be a significant harmful emissions from construction vehicles and other trucks when and if this plant begins. Large diesel trucks will be providing materials, water, oil, ammonia, hydrogen, and other products to this plant. Not only will these trucks increase noxious air emissions to the detriment of the people and wildlife in the vicinity, but the additional traffic on Barville's small country roads, especially during construction, will cause significant environmental harm and prolonged stress to the residents and wildlife. Not only does Mr. Ebner's testimony identify the many hazardous pollutants, he goes so far as to describe the adverse health effects each one has, some of which are extremely serious. In fact, these hazardous air pollutants he identified are known to cause cancer and have serious health impacts. I have spent the last 801,883 minutes shouting from the mountaintops that these facts alone, these risks alone, are worthy of denial of this application. I have begged to be the voice you heard. Now, all of this three minutes, I feel hope. I actually feel comfort. I feel like you did hear me, and I cannot thank you enough for listening to me. Don't ever forget this time. It's very special. Don't miss your chance to be heroes for us, the wildlife, and our precious, irreplaceable environment. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lewis.